in the last 100 days, we took our 1976 Toyota Chinook motorhome and put it on an 80 series Land Cruiser chassis to build what we believe is the world's first Land Cruiser Chinook. We plan to drive from Alaska to Argentina, the entire Pan America Highway over the next 18 months. The first leg of our journey is to get to Denver, Colorado so that we can upgrade our rig. We're not ready for this adventure, but that doesn't mean we're not doing it anyway. We're about to find out if the risk is worth the reward because all it takes is all you've got. I'm Matthew. And I'm Stacy. And this is Toyota World Runners, proudly presented by West Can Overland, off-road design, and in part by... We did it. <laughs> Once we were on the mainland, we had a few errands to run and stops to make to get a few parts for the rig before we crossed the border the next day. It is so surreal to be sitting in the Chinook right now. Uh, like, <laughs> our entire life is right back there. <laughs> so we're just here at Johnston, the Johnstone barbecue place in Vancouver and they are awesome. He just helped me figure out how to run both the stoves. So I've got this sweet little adapter now to a, a tea cap. So now this one will go via a hose, which I have to drill another hole. I got to get a hole through here and it'll go via this hose through there out here and into our stove. I had all the wrong hoses and a bunch of stuff I didn't need that was gonna be kind of unsafe and whack. And yeah, the owners here were super helpful. And uh, now we got two stoves because we're gonna need that for all the turkey dinners we're gonna be cooking on the road, right? I also forgot the knobs. So they're hooking us up with some cool vintage ones. It's amazing finding companies that want to support what we're doing. And Overland Outfitters has been no exception to that. Highly recommend stopping by and meeting their team and buying some of their wicked gear. Good morning. Just me and my girlfriend. Wow, we are in the USA. We're in the USA. I don't know how to begin to explain our border crossing experience, but it started at 6 a.m. and it's now 11.44. We'll start with that and uh, maybe explain a little I'll explain later when... on the way. But we're in the States. We did it and we can breathe now. <laughs> Well, we're about to tackle our first mountain pass, and because we've been a bit slow, having to tighten bolts, it is dark now. <laughs> but it, it's a good thing we have our windshield washer fluid. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna have to fix that at some point. <laughs> Call me pass. <laughs> is that how you say it? Yeah. Just a preview of the interior right now. This is our bed. It has been obstructed by this <laughs> giant box of clothes. We haven't honestly had time to unpack. We left in such a rush, to say the least. Yeah. Our clothes are supposed to be in there, but there's other stuff in there. So. But we do have our heater. 
and it is very toasty it's here, warm. which is awesome. All right, time to set up the bed. Voila, we're in bed mode. We did it. Our first night in America, and our first night sleeping in the Lion Cruiser Chinook. Yep. First morning. Good morning. After first night in the beautiful <laughs> Richland. Richland Walmart parking lot. Just uh, doing some, you know. Just checking things, you know. Before, you know, this is really our test drive, so we're just, you know, checking things. Checking things. One thing I'm going to do is move our tailpipe out a little bit because we're getting a little, getting a little stainy here. Yeah, we don't like the stain. We're hoping to have like a plate there, but. We're a little rushed. <laughs> yes, we had a beautiful sleep in the Walmart parking lot. First of many. It was a really cold morning and nothing could have prepared us for what happens next. As we pulled onto the interstate, we hit black ice and drifted into the oncoming lanes. We watched the last three months of hard work flash before our eyes. Time to test our four wheel drive on this uh, mountain pass. We just uh, started drifting, going about 55 miles an hour, and it was terrifying. Now we're in four wheel drive going 25 miles an hour with the hazards on. We quickly found out that something was wrong and our four wheel drive was not engaging, and we were still drifting all over the highway. We are currently stranded in Umatilla, Oregon in a snowstorm without four wheel drive in our Chinook that we're trying to get to Denver. Stay tuned to see how that goes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not sure what to say at this point. Thankfully, nothing cures a belly full of fear like a big pint of beer. We spent the morning testing the four-wheel drive in the parking lot. To no avail, still not sure what is going on at this point, but despite our nerves, we decided to push on because there was a break in the weather and it stopped snowing, so we proceeded down the interstate. I made a phone call and bought us some more time with our sponsor in Denver, but we weren't out of the woods yet because we had a storm chasing us, we still didn't have four wheel drive, and we were not sure about any of these roads or how the Chinook was gonna perform. We are all in on getting this rig dialed so we can start our trip of the Pan America Highway. If you wanna support our endeavors, please smash that like button and hit subscribe. Well guys, we made it 25 miles today. Uh, so far, the trip is going... Uh, I don't know the word yet. It's going somewhere. Well, yesterday we made it another 25 miles. Progress is slow. Honestly, other than a few little things, the truck is running really well. Engine sounds great. It's got plenty of power. There's no weird shakes or vibrations. There's just a couple things that are holding us up. One being, I think we have the wrong hubs on there. So we don't have four wheel drive, which is the main thing that's holding us up. The other is I may have set the caster incorrectly or it may have changed when we fully loaded the truck up, but the steering is very darty when there's a kind of a crown in the road and it kind of just like shoots around a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna adjust the alignments a little bit in the parking lot here uh, so it'll be more towed in 
which may just be a band-aid for the problem, but it'll hopefully make the vehicle a little more safe to drive until we can get to Salt Lake City, where I'm hoping to go to Slee Off-Road and get some actual caster plates and ditch the bushings. I don't know if I installed them incorrectly. I, I measured the caster the way I thought you're supposed to measure caster, and it said we were at three degrees caster. So either I did something wrong or we just have incorrect caster. So, you know, other than that, we're doing well. It's sunny and, you know, sleeping in the Chinook is nice and warm and I'm just fixing a squeaky alternator belt and we're just hanging out at Napa. Great day. In the back. We're gonna go tour the town now. Yeah, Pendleton, Oregon. You guys have some really friendly people. I like it. <laughs> As we were posted up for the night at our resident Walmart parking lot, a woman came up to the door and asked if we had jumper cables. When we pulled over, we realized that she had not only killed her battery, but also locked her keys in her car. After a few minutes of messing around, she gave up and told me to break her window. I'm not one to hesitate for a good time. Good morning from Ace Hardware Store. Still in Pendleton. <laughs> Waiting on our overnight UPS that's on day three. So today we are going to try to adjust our caster because Chinook is wandering all over the road where it's not supposed to be. And we have a very big pass to do to get out of here and we are going to take all precautions and yep. fix everything that needs to be fixed in this lovely snowy town before we hit the hit the road again. That's right. Well, we're officially out of Pendleton and we're heading up Edman's Pass, aka Cabbage Hill. We have to do it today because there's a huge storm coming tomorrow and if we don't get over this pass today then we will be stuck in Pendleton for forever. Forever. Overlanders.
job. Huge shout out to Nick and the boys at Rome for hooking us up with this badass 270 awning. This is about as high quality as it gets. And not only that, but they gave us some beer. We're such tourists. We're tourists. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Just doing some highway maintenance things. Just checking on everything. <laughs> we are in lovely Scipio. Thank God this happened in the gas station parking lot. Right over there. Thank God we weren't on the highway, but repairs need to be done. Be like a little bushing or something in there that keeps this from doing the funky chicken, but we'll look look down from here. But now it's come out, so this is just wobbling around like crazy and bumping into things. So that's what we're trying to fix. That's what we're going to fix. Or that's what we're fixing. Okay, so we shoved the piece of foam back in here and it's already less less wobbly which is awesome. We're gonna try and do a bit more with this hose that Stacy scavenged. I went foraging in the nearby yard. We're gonna wrap it in duct tape, sleeve it, and then glue it. <laughs> We're just trying to make it to Denver, people. <laughs> yeah. And just like that, the steering column's back in road well that's our uh, one hiccup for the day so now we're now we're good to go we're only allowed one hiccup a day <laughs> It's really bizarre showing up to these places at night because <laughs> we're just really surprised. It feels like we're on Mars right now. <laughs> Thank you.
birthday, pal. <laughs> Brand new build, it's like perfect timing. <laughs> Teasiness. <laughs> Will they ever get to Denver? <laughs> it's just like, oh man. Well, friends, we're officially in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> oh, it says Toy Tech Lifts, but it's actually Nitro Gear and Axle. If you want the raw uncut details you can join us now on patreon for those nitty-gritty details that aren't really right for YouTube so if you want to be a deeper more interested or more intricate part um, you know you can check that out yes guys it is true we started a patreon we were reluctant for a while but we actually got asked by a bunch of people so there it is if you want to be a part of a more intimate circle all the nitty-gritty details that we just can't share on YouTube, then come hang out on Patreon. <laughs> We're happy to have you. <laughs> and if that's not your game, you're not into that, thank you so much for just watching our videos. Hit that like button and subscribe. It means the world to us that you're just here watching our videos. So thank you. Thank you. Come join the fam.